Welcome to Sail Faster, Sail Safer. My name is David Glenn. I'm the editor of Yachting World magazine. This series of videos is designed to help you through some of those awkward manoeuvres we all know so well. Dropping a spinnaker in heavy airs, trimming the spinnaker, getting out of that brooch, trimming up wind and downwind. If you break these manoeuvres down and apply some simple techniques, it can all be so much easier, trust me. <laughs> To help us with this, we are working with professional solo sailor Pip Hare, whose expertise you will see and appreciate, I hope, in this series of videos. I hope the series helps you to sail faster and safer. A lot of people choose not to use the spinnaker in more adventurous breezy conditions downwind because they're worried about the what if. So today we're going to look at how to stop the boat from rolling excessively and rolling into a Chinese jibe and how to keep control of the spinnaker so it doesn't control you. The reason you lose control of the boat under spinnaker is normally through having excess heel on the boats which is either going to be excess heel to windward or excess heel to leeward. Um, the excess seal causes the rudder to come partially out of the water, so the rudder's doing less of a job, but also the boat starts turning on its own, turning on its longer waterline side, and either bearing away in a Chinese jibe or heading up in a brooch. So at the moment we're looking at how to avoid a Chinese jibe. Essentially what we've got to do is depower the spinnaker, try and get the spinnaker a little bit flatter, more under control, so it's not heeling the boat over, but we're also going to power the main up a bit more, so the main starts to equalise, power in the spinnaker. So as the boat starts rolling to windward we want to trim the spinnaker on to get it a little flatter, ease the pole forward to encourage the spinnaker to go a little bit more behind the mainsail and then pull the kicker on to power the mainsail up so that we're balancing the boat back out again. 